uh, the amenities that are in this neighborhood are fantastic. So it's kind of, you're close to the city because you're about one major intersection over from the Toronto boundary. Right. But yet you're in a place where you've got the best of like nature right beside you, the beach and the lake right there and community centers. There's a, a school and a tennis court just walking distance on the other side of the street. So wow. It is really a family neighborhood. So, um, you know, mm -hmm. and um, modified very minimal things just to kind of fit into the aesthetic of the neighborhood and uh, the price point of the neighborhood and such. Mm -hmm. But um, generally speaking, what we bought was kind of a turnkey design. If you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we just decided to move to one of the. Oops. Wanted to make sure that each model had uh, a means that we could easily convert to an income suite mm -hmm. um, if uh, the owner wanted to do that, or if we so choose to go ahead and finish an income suite, we wanted a layout that could easily transition. So we looked for things like separate entrances mm -hmm. in the design, or the flexibility to be able to put in a separate entrance. And I'll show you on our next house where we had to go back to the engineer to redesign that element into the, the building. We get that grand feeling room, which is really kind of pretty kinda cool. Kind of nice. So yeah, at this stage where you know rough-ins are completed and we're getting ready for um, carpentry to come in and finish the um, finished carpentry. It's only be eight inches. Um, house line we've got to replace those okay um, and so an arborist had given us um, a review okay um, at the time that we were getting permits and, and things in place um, and they told us what uh, what type of trees we can replace and how many basically it's like two or three to one every time you cut a tree down you've got to plant double Wow. To replace it. So it's um, a question you really have to ask yourself. Can you maintain a tree? And it, that depends on the size of the tree and everything. So, I mean, one of the things like it might, you might say that this kind of ruins the street view, having a tree like this in the, in the front of the house, but never this. Well, and that's the thing. It adds to the character. It of the does. House. So we, it we, does. we do want to maintain these, but at the same time, the question of even removing it or damaging it, yeah, we'd have to replace like 10 trees. So it's in our best interest to really protect <laughs> the, trees uh, the trees during that you construction. Can, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this was an awesome tour. Candice, thank you so much. You're very welcome. For the time <laughs> and letting me take a look. It is a beautiful build and um, congrats to you. Thank you. <laughs>